Hello, everybody. Thank you so much for tuning back in, Sagittarius. Thank you so much for watching. This is going to be a reading for all Sagittarius placements. All right, Sagittarius, if you like the book of personal reading with me, all the information will be in the description box below, okay, my love? So let's see what's the message today, please, for Sagittarius. What's the important message for Sagittarius? So we have the full core. All right, so a new beginning. All right, so stepping out on faith, the seven of wands. Okay, so this could be you having full control of something now. Okay. Hmm. Okay, so you might be, you might, I feel like you could be talking to an earth sign possibly about doing something, you know, Sagittarius about doing started something somebody could be discouraging you about what they saying or something like that but i'm also getting it to you you trying to take this leap of faith you could have there could be like these friends that's not your friends but you know friends of friends they friends that's trying to kind of manipulate a pathway or something like that for some reason we we'll have to see what that is i'm also getting here too you're you leaving this earth sign for something or you you're not you're no longer working from home or something like that you, you have to go into an office or the office or something like that. Here, said the series. What's the seven of ones? Uh, not the seven of ones. What's the major icon here, please, for this situation? What is the major icon for this story right here? So the empress. So the boss. The fool again. The temperance. The justice. Damn. So it looked like said the series. Damn, you, you, you moving up a level. Okay, it looks like you are definitely moving up a level here. What's the Oracle of Ascendance regarding this situation here? So we have Crown Shock of Reverse. Okay, we got to see about that right there, Sagittarius. So, mm, that ain't good. Because when you Crown Shock of the Reverse, I'm just playing. I search, God supposed to give me that gift to sing. I ain't gonna, I don't feel like that, but yeah, you know. I supposed to be able to know how to sing, honey. <laughs> so much as I'll be trying to sing. It says there is a it says when this is inverted, okay, when the crown chakra is inverted, there's a closed mindedness that has resulted from an imbalance of the chakra. Focus on clearing it out to, to be more open and accepting. Yes, seven of wands. Yeah, somebody trying to manipulate your pathway, baby. Because you really own the biggest shit. You feel me? So somebody trying to discourage you. Okay, this can be someone anyone here. Let's see, what's this message here? So, yeah, I'm also getting here to you hanging out with your friend. It's Aries or something like that. Are you celebrating this Aries? Um, something about this Aries becoming a mother or something like that or baby or something like that. Let's see. What's this message, though, please, from my Sagittarius? Sagittarius. <laughs> yeah, it's like you want to take this leap of faith, but you just kind of like talk yourself out of it. Okay, the five of pentacles, the fool, you just stop going. So, yeah, we got the king of swords. Yeah, something about you talk yourself out of it, the emperor. So, these could be, you have the devil, the magician. Oh, no. What's the devil, magician, Holy Spirit? And with the seven of swords, seven of cups, or, or yeah, somebody trying to fuck with your crown chakra for sure, for sure. What's this um, devil and this magician energy, please, for my Sagittarius? What's the devil in a magician? Yeah, the, ooh, the five of swords. Yeah, somebody trying to hold you back, baby. If somebody is fucking with your goddamn gone crown shopper. So you might just be feeling, I don't know, maybe major headaches. Or you just be overthinking something. And you just walk away from shit. Yeah, you just, instead, you just start to... <laughs> You abandon something. You just give up or you just give up on people, per people maybe, places, things and shit. You just start having these paranoid thoughts. You just walk away. Yeah, somebody is trying to paranoid. Yeah. What? I mean, somebody's trying to worry you. What my Sagittarius, uh, what my Sagittarius say? You good though, Sage, okay? Somebody is trying to mess with your crown chakra because they know you're, you're stepping into this Empress energy here or you're becoming a mom or something like that. Yeah, the Empress, the Ace of Swords, the Page of Freaking Wands. Okay, so you're right here. That's what I said. Where's my Sagittarius energy? The Ace of Swords 
Empress, the page one. This is what I'm getting though. They trying to mess with your crown shock or whatever, but you still see clearly Ace of Swords, page one's Empress. So you still know exactly what you need to do and how you need to do it. It just might take you a little while, Knight of Pentacles, or you just move and kind of a little slow, and that's fine. Justice card, slow and steady, baby, rinse the fucking race. Race. Okay, so I feel like somebody is trying to mess with your crown shock or trying to throw you off, trying to make you be scared to do to move or however that go, and it's just like not going that's not what's going on. Um let's see, what's this? What's the devil the magician? Like who is this three of cups? Clarify that three of cups and that emperor. I'm definitely getting a, a Aries friend or something like that. Or somebody's in the cahoots with Aries, or somebody's doing this to a Aries, a masculine Aries. To make them be second guessing you, Sagittarius. Okay. Yeah, these three, these four walk, man. Look, working together and shit behind closed doors. What's the five of swords? The devil magician. Okay, so yeah, the temperance and the two of cups. Yeah, somebody is jealous of your relationships, your status, or your home, or some shit like that, or your son, your new something like that. Something stupid, child. So this is what's the resort is. Somebody think they're gonna fuck with your intuition on moving forward or buying this home or moving out of your that Scorpio home or something like that. Moving out of somebody's house. Yeah, because it's showtime. The Wheel of Fortune, baby. The Wheel of Fortune, Queen of Wands. You're looking right at your fortune, your destiny. You can't be stopped. So I feel like if you... I mean, I, I only have to give you no advice on what you might feel because I'm definitely getting that strongly. You are standing firm on your motherfucking shit. It's period. You standing firm on your thoughts, your, your, your movements, your plan goes like literally... I said, where's my Sagittarius energy? Ace of Swords, Page of Wands, Empress. And the overall energy for you is the Queen of Wands, Wheel of Fortune. You're looking directly at the Wheel of Fortune. So, uh, you good. All right, what's this energy here, please, for my Sagittarius? You gonna, you're taking that leap of faith. So, yeah, trickster and grandmother. Yeah, somebody's trying to trick you. But, yo, yeah, I always get that grandmother energy. Somebody have a strong grandmother figure that's watching over them. Yeah, we have keepsake, that's their protection, and, and we have light energy. Yeah, so we got a grandmother energy that's protecting you. I do want to clarify this four and this five of pentacles, so what's the four and the five of pentacles for my Sagittarius? Before I go, hold on, I should have clarified that, but I got some. So yeah, I feel like though, regardless of whatever, you're gonna take the action to be that to be that worker, even though how no matter how hard the decision might be, you still gonna make the right de decision. But what's the fool in the five of pentacles, though? Before I leave, what's the fool in the five of pentacles? Okay, so yeah, the judgment. I, you still do the right thing. See, this I was clarifying this because I didn't ever get to clarify. I'm like, damn, you're taking a leap of faith, but if you took a leap of faith in the five of pentacles, but this can also be scared. Is you scared to take a leap of faith? You don't want to take a leap of faith. Or not scared, you just lacking the mindset or you feel like you lacking something to take a leap of faith. But it was clarified by the judgment. You still going to have that inner calling to do the right thing with the higher energy. It's like you can't get somebody going to make sure. Known or unknown, seen or unseen, whatever this energy is, it's going to make sure that you get to where you need to go. No matter how much these folks try to discourage you in any type of way, it's going to happen. All right, so that's what I have for you, though, my love. I will see you in the next video. Bye.